YouTubers. Uh, welcome to another edition of uh, the ongoing project with the Helix. Today, I just want to cover a few things. It's uh, going to be a short video this time. And uh, today we're going to talk about cleaning. This, <laughs> this bike is 35 years old. And one thing that becomes really obvious when you open up everything and take the covers off is um, how uh, dirty it is in here. It's absolutely filthy. <laughs> so uh, I, I had hoped to paint the frame and stuff like that, but you know, before doing that, of course, I have to clean everything up. Now, as long as I have everybody here watching, maybe somebody can tell me something. Now, if you'll notice, there are two mounts, one there and one there, for the um, uh, so, uh, rear view mirrors. Now, as you can see, the one on the left is in further than the one on the right, which is not surprising considering the impact of the, uh, uh, the deer. So, if uh, anybody has any suggestions on how to bend that back out, please let me know. Now, during the impact, several things happened. I'm going to try to show you this with one hand. Um, but, as you can see, there's a break here in the dash. Um, now, I really don't want to have to buy a new dash. So, I'm going to have to fix it. Now, I've watched a bunch of videos on, on YouTube on how to go about... Uh, you know, fixing plastic and, you know, everything from heat heat guns to whatever. And I have my own tried and true methods. Uh, I fix sewing machines for a living. And a lot of the domestic sewing machines, of course, are made out of plastic. So I found that the best way to fix these guys is, is to determine first... Uh, you know, if you have a suitable surface where it can't be seen. And in this case, I do. So, what I'll be doing is mixing up a little bit of JB Weld. I highly recommend this stuff. Two parts epoxy. And once, when it, it sets and dries, you know, you give it about 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever. Longer the better. It becomes like steel. <laughs> it's just unbelievable how strong this thing is. So, what I'll be doing, and I'm, I would like to show you how it's done, but I'm having a hard time here as far as the uh, mounts go. Uh, we, we've moved, uh, and, and a lot of my camera mounts are... I don't know, somewhere in some box, someplace. So for now, I'll just have to kind of come back to it and show you, you know, as things progress. So the first step will be to mix the JB Weld. Or actually, no, it shouldn't be the first step. The first step will be to prepare the surface. And I do that by cleaning it and then roughing it up a little bit so that the weld has something to grab onto. And presto. Now, the JB Weld, uh, you know, will fill the crack a little bit, and once it dries, I mean, and sets, this thing is just incredible. It's like steel. You can, you can drill it. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. And being on the inside of the dash, uh, it will not be seen, you know, so that saves me big, big bucks. And I'm sure I'm going to be doing this to a bunch of other parts, too. Uh, like I say, this is a, a tried and true method. I've been using it in my job for quite a while, and it works like a charm every time. Um, so, anyway, uh, that's all I wanted to talk about was cleaning up. Um, I've used this stuff here. Uh, back to Black Restore. And man, oh man, does that thing ever work well. Highly recommend it. In fact, let me take you over to my Bergman. And, uh, pardon the mess, like I said, we just moved. 
and uh, I did this on the front here. Now, when I went on my trip last year, last summer, uh, I had a problem with the Bergman in that um, bugs would fly in here and impact and pile up in here. Now, that turned out to be a real pain in the butt because, like I say, by the end of the trip, I mean, I went to, uh, oh, God, pretty close to 3,000 miles. Uh, by the end of the trip, this whole area here was just packed in guts. It was just pathetic. So I had to remove the windshield and uh, all the plastic and so on and clean it all out. I gave her a shot of that back to black, and it looks beautiful now. Um, again, I'm asking people, do you have any ideas on how I can fix this gap here? Uh, maybe a piece of foam or, or something like that. Um, it, it can't interfere with the windshield going up and down, though. So, anyway, I guess that's about it. Just a, a brief chat. Uh, we've had a big snowstorm here, so I'm kind of um, at a standstill. And uh, once we start going again, then uh, I'll be back online here. Uh, so, in the meantime... Thanks for coming around. Uh, thanks for being here. And hey, subscribe. Only press the button and that's it. So, um, till next time. Scooter Peace out. <laughs>